And welcome back. Well, a week from Saturday, Green Bay Packers defensive end Mike Daniels will lead a crowd on a one mile walk through one Milwaukee neighborhood to raise awareness about the importance of early childhood education. And here to tell us about the walk for children and next door's mission is Christina Krogan from next door. Great to see yeah, you. Good to see Thank you, you so much for, for being here. Too. And he's a big deal. I mean, he is. He's rocking and, um, it on the football field. Yes, in addition to the football field, what we've heard um, from uh, you know his agent and the uh, other representatives from the Green Bay Packers is that he's really uh, a family man and he uh, interacts with kids really well. So it's just a great match for what we do over at Next Yeah, Door. we were well, here today. Big personality, yeah, big fun personality. to listen to, great with interacting, like you said. And he's going to stick around for pictures afterward with families. And if the weather and time permits, he might even do some reading to the kids. Exactly. That's well, adorable. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So nice cute. Nice guy. Yeah, and what a great example to be talking about the importance of early education. Yeah. I like this. Let's talk about why you think it's so important in a child's life, especially if it's a child who's living in poverty, which we understand so many children are, even here in our city. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's, you know, research that, that's been done nationally, and what it shows is that if uh, a child growing up in poverty doesn't have the intervention of a, a high-quality early childhood education, they're going to start uh, kindergarten up to 18 months behind um, their peers. Wow. So imagine starting kindergarten a year and a half behind. Imagine starting a year and a half behind in anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so when you think about that long-term impact, um, the ability to be successful in school uh, and therefore in life, uh, it's it's extremely important. So that's what we focus on um, at Nextdoor, uh, both with the children and then we partner with the families uh, because we understand that you're only in school for so many hours and um, the family is is clearly struggling um, with different issues in their life so we try to help one-on-one uh, -on -one with the families to overcome some of the barriers that they're facing. That's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about programming and all those kinds of things that when you're working with these families are there specific programs that you know you can kind of tell us a little bit about that truly help in this cycle? Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, uh, the main piece of it, of course, would be the actual early childhood education yeah. um, because that's going to be the long-term solution uh, for for what the family is facing, uh, and essentially, you know, uh, developing both um, the academic skills, but then also the social emotional skills. Those mm -hmm. are extremely important uh, for success in school, success in life, uh, and so we've got um, a team of people. Uh, and we do a lot of training and professional development of our teachers uh, at this very young age for the children uh, to be able to interact and um, uh, help uh, identify and uh, teach coping mechanisms, partner with the parents to help them uh, as well. So it's a, it's a really nice combination. Tell us about the Walk for Children, mm -hmm. how it will help in building awareness about what you do and this mission to, to get kids educated at an early age. Mm -hmm. Sure, absolutely. So our Walk for Children is going to be Saturday, May 19th, and we uh, go through a walk around the neighborhood of our main campus. Um, we really like to bring people down to um, our neighborhood. We're near 29th and Clark um, to see uh, you know, what's going on at our school directly. And um, we're able to uh, partner with a lot of other organizations to bring programming down for us, the um, Milwaukee Public Museum, Betty Brin, Discovery World, Children's Hospital, uh, and Harley Davidson does like a trike race. Yeah. Um, so lots of stuff going on in addition to our mobile library, uh, giving out free books as well. That's so cool. and hopefully so cool. Michael will be able to, Mike Daniels will be able to read with our kids too. Yeah. Cute. Well, I know they talk about like the, what is, I don't know the actual words, but it's like 10,000 by six or something. They have to have so many words by six years mm -hmm. old mm -hmm. or they're so far behind in mm -hmm. school, kind of like you mentioned those 18 months. Mm -hmm. But I think about some of the cool stuff. You've got Roscoe is going to be there. Mm -hmm. You've got the the free book library, like you said, the design it lab, so many different fun things. So what do people need to know when they arrive or sign up to be there? Sure. Do they have to bring anything or plan sure. for anything? So um, you're to come, our registration starts at nine o'clock uh, and you can uh, pre-register online. We'll have the information for you um, or you uh, can just register the day of. A registration for an individual is $10, so it's very awesome. affordable. Um, and uh, you come on down, 10 o'clock is when the walk starts. Again, Let's put up the information, mm -hmm. go ahead. Again, it's a one mile walk, so anybody you know can come and do it. It's easy for kids too, so we encourage um, people to bring their families. Um, and then afterwards is when we have um, all of the additional uh, programming going on. It's great. 9 to noon, Saturday the 19th, not this Saturday, but next, North 29th Street is where things kick off. You can go to nextdoormke.org to find out more or to register. Thanks, Thank you Christina. so much. All right, thanks Appreciate for having your us. time. All right.